It's time to review some suture pads. What do they come with? How do they perform? What's my opinion? And should you buy it? We're gonna use my rating system, admit observation or discharge. Let's get right into it. It all starts back in 30,000 BC where archaeologists have found needles made of bone that have eyelet holes in them, which means they were probably used for sewing of some kind. Jump ahead a lot of years to 1600 BC, we start to see cat gut being used for suture. That's right, the inside of a cat. Now, that might sound crazy to you, but it's actually not, and gut suture is something that's used pretty common today. It's not the same, but same process. Johnson & Johnson in 1887, they made the first sterile suture. They made both cat gut and they made silk, which we actually use today. Okay, we're almost there. I just think it's really fascinating that some of the sutures we use very commonly, like PDS or Vicryl, they weren't made until the 70s and 80s. Yes, they're pretty new. Dermabond wasn't even on the market until almost 2000. That's right, the most well-known medical superglue we did not have until 1998. All right, I know. Cool it with the medical history on sutures. Let's get to the pads. It's my favorite time, unboxing time. Now, the nice thing is that I bought all of these myself, so that means I can say quite literally whatever I want about them. Let's get into all of them, open them up, and see what they look like right now. To be fair, my suture pad is the custom one now. Full disclosure on the suture pad, obviously we had it made for us. It's got our logo on it. So uh, yeah, I really like this one and it was made to my specification. It's got three layers here, skin layer, a nice thick skin layer, a fat layer and a blood layer down below and different types of wounds that you can repair. And of course you can repair the letters if you want. So that's mine. I mean, you've seen it all over my social media, but there it is. I've been waiting to rip the plastic off this for a long time. It's just been all right, let's get this thing open. Wow. I'm like pretty impressed. This is nice. So uh, this isn't real, like gold plated, but uh, in the OR, needle drivers are gold plated. And these, these are actually really nice needle drivers. 3.0 nylon and 3.0 silk and chromic gut. If you watch the history portion, you know about that. These are real, these are real blades. Uh, I think. We'll open them in a second. A ruler so we can measure our wounds. A little template. Let's see what's in here. Okay, so this just teaches the basics of how to do a suture and it shows you how to pass the suture through. So very cool. I To the actual money of the kit. There it is, okay. First impression. Oh. Okay. I don't like grease. I, when I work on cars, I wear gloves. When I work on motorcycles and bicycles, I wear gloves. When I work on patients, I wear gloves. This is greasy. I'm going to get gloves. I will be right back. Gloves, 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 gloves. Okay, so I've got my gloves. This smells kind of gross, I'm not gonna lie. I think it's the releasing material or whatever they do, but I can touch it now and not, not be wigged out. So there are layers here. There's definitely a skin layer. I can't see the mesh and there's, there's definitely two layers below. Uh, it looks like they run through the wounds. So that's nice and it's pretty even. So overall the quality seems pretty good. The tool's actually really, really nice. So put it to the side for now and open the next one. All right. Artasia Suture Practice Kit, pra practice kit, second gen improved based on user feedback. Let's get into it. Ah, that's it, oops. That's it, we don't need the box. Okay, this has no scalpel handle in it, which is kind of weird because they gave scalpel handle required blades. So I don't know why they did that, whatever. Uh, it's pretty big, this is pretty big. They've come with some pre-cut, so let's check the side. It is three layers, a thin skin layer, a fat layer, and a blood layer, I guess. Yeah, it's about the same amount of jelly to it. Uh, the wounds are very, very gaping. These, these are gonna be really hard to pull together nicely. Um, just from, I can tell you from the tension, at least on those. But these, these zigzags will come together nice. These will come together nice. And checking all the way, yep, there's layers all the way through. Not sure what this big part at the top is. You like write your name on here. Okay, this one's done. Time for the last one we got. 
This is all I got in a package. This is it. It's coming. Here it is. It's a mini suture pad. It is three layers again, but they, they all look the same, to be honest. The skin, a fat, and like a blood layer. Um, they do not span the wounds. So it looks like only the skin layer is is uh, opened up for suture repairs here. Uh, it looks like the fat layer and the blood layer are below it. Um, they give a couple different, different wound types. It's kind of got a textured top in some areas, but not others. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of weird. Uh, so, okay, whatever. I don't have anything else to say. That's all that came with it. Uh, it feels similar to this one. So let's lay them all out and take a look. Oh, this you crazy mother. Time to put a stitch in this thing. So allegedly this has a mesh layer. I can see it actually, I can see the mesh layer. So we're gonna bite, we're gonna bite through like a normal stitch like I would do. And what we're gonna do is clamp both ends, and now we're just gonna pull and see how much it can pull. I'm pulling pretty, okay. Oh, okay. That's a lot. That's a lot, it's probably three kilograms. I think I actually believe that. So for holding power, that's like, I'm pretty impressed. Yeah, I mean, it feels pretty good. Okay, fine. Great. Pad number one, done. We're gonna use the same suture. We're gonna put the same simple interrupted stitch in here. So we'll go down, put a stitch in. We've got it clamped. Let's see. It can lift the suture pad, no problem. Passes that test, let's hold it down. Here's the force. Oh, that's, that's holding a lot. That's holding pretty well. I would say, oh, okay. Definitely holds less than this. The mesh in this uh, first pad here holds a lot more tension, like probably double. This held nicely. You could definitely put tension in for a suture, but um, if you're looking for ultimate hold, our suture pad's actually not the pad for you. We got the mini. Okay. This is the most similar laceration to the other ones that we did. It's a little wider, so we'll just do that. Um, here we go. Let's pull. We'll lift the suture pad up. Oh my god, the suture pad's like suctioned onto the table. There's a lot of force. It's doing well. This thing's gonna hit me. Nope. Okay. This suture pad cannot lift the suture up. Or the suture, to, yeah, I don't know. It ripped through, it ripped through everything. Let me try another one, to be fair. None of the other ones got another one, but this one just pulled, I couldn't even like lift it up off the, let's use our fancy suture. Scissors to trim this suture up. How much does it take to pull through? A lot, that's like a lot. That's a lot, that's more than the first one. Oh, oh, I broke the, I broke the stitch. This probably holds more than three kilograms. I'm pretty impressed. It has the same feel as the other two are very similar. It's small, it's portable. Um, the lacks aren't that real, but whatever, cool. All right, this is our last pad. This one's from Artega, Artesia, whatever it is. Let's check it out. We're clamped, now we see, does it lift the suture pad? Again, this is suction, I'm gonna be fair and release it. Does it lift the suture pad? Yes. How much force can it take? Let's put our finger down and see. Fingers down. Oh, I don't have a good grip on it, I guess. That's better. Okay, finger. Huh? A little bit more than I expected. It just broke the, let's clamp it again. It broke the suture. Okay. Not really, actually.
If you're new here, things go on a scale of admit, observe, or discharge. Admit being go buy that, or I really enjoyed it, whatever it is. Obs is eh, so-so, middle thumbs up, and then discharge is mm, not for me. So. Overall, the MedLife pad, actually, I think it's fine. It gets the job done. The tools are fine, but they're not great. And the sutures, I would say, are better than the sutures that are here today. Overall, I give this an OBS. Next up, let's review the little guy. This little pad came just in the bag, wherever it is earlier. The only thing with these mesh uh, layouts is that I feel like you can't cut it, and it has a very, very inaccurate feel when cutting. So all of the mesh pads here, don't feel real. I will say that's one thing that's a highlight. This feels a lot more like cutting real skin for placing injections and things. This feels more real. Overall, what would I say on this? I would say admit. I would say this is a pretty nice piece for $10. It's easy for a medical student to put in a bag. You could practice at lunch, whatever, uh, bring it around with you. This is, this is pretty good. Admit. Okay, next up the one that I really don't want to touch. The Apprentice Doctor Suture Pad. I actually think it's a really good pad. This laceration is really nice, and the thing here is the mesh layer is not right on the top. So if you cut with this, it, it still has some feel. Making your own, again, is a little bit more difficult with the mesh in there, but um, yeah, I like this pad. What would I give this pad overall? Honestly, admit, I like this. I can't find that other suture pad. I was just looking, maybe it's in the, oh, oh yep. This is the last suture pad, the Artesia, Artega, or whatever it is. The wounds are just strange. Um, it's very floppy and easily deformed, and it just didn't feel real going through it. The first suture pulled out so easily. It did come with sutures. It randomly came with scalpel blades that had no handle. Um, it had no tools, but a lot of sutures. I would not recommend this one. This, for me, is a discharge. Overall, if I had to pick one winner, where would I put my money? I would do this kit. The Apprentice Doctor Kit. But let me know in the comments which one you would buy, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. This was a lot of fun to make, and I hope that it's helpful. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next video.